Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, the place to go online and create your own beautiful website. Hey guys, this is Florian from Afterlands. In today's video, I wanted to compare the BMPCC6K to the Canon C200. It's a question that I've been asked many times, so I thought I'd make a quick video about it. So I'm going to talk about the main differences between the cameras, the pros and cons of each, what kind of shoots I've used them on, and the things I like and don't like so much about the two cameras. This is not a technical review, as there are plenty out there, but rather my thoughts since I own and use both cameras regularly. I have used the C200 for a year and a half and the Pocket 6K for two months. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get into it. What prompted me to make this video, apart from a lot of you asking me about it, is that I just shot my first mini documentary on the Pocket 6K and I usually pick the C200 for this kind of work. So the pros that I'm going to talk about are the pros for each camera in relation to the other. They both have similar sensors and the same mount. So the pros of the BMPCC 6K. 6K. A big part of my job is video licensing, so having the option to deliver 6K footage is a huge plus. A 6K sensor allows you also to get a super clean 4K. 120fps in 2.8K. Something that I was very interested about when they announced the camera was the ability to record 120fps in 2.8K, which can make for very cool shots and you can easily upscale it to 4K if you have to. So the codex. Being able to shoot ProRes 10 bit and be raw internally is amazing. The form factor, it's super small and light and easy to carry and set up. The beautiful screen, so everything looks great and the menus are so easy to use. You also have professional connections such as Mini XLR or Full HDMI on a small body. The ability to record to external SSD which can help you to save money. And the price, for 2500 USD you can't go wrong with the Pocket 6K. So now the pros of the C200. First of all, reliability. This is a workhorse of a camera, I've never had any issues with it. The battery lasts forever, so the smaller one lasts about 3 hours, and the bigger one for nearly 6, so basically you only need to carry 2 to shoot all day. The autofocus is amazing, especially if you're a one-man band, and it is very useful for interviews if your subject tends to move back and forth a little. It's also great for follow shots. The color science. The footage from the C200 looks great out of the camera, all you need is a bit of contrast and saturation. Internal NDs, this is one of my favorite features, super handy when shooting in different lighting conditions. The connections, you've got two XLRs for example, button to access all main functions, two SD card slots, the audio panel at the back, as well as one CFast. The articulating screen, which is very useful to shoot from different angles. I know it's pretty common to have a screen like this these days, but to have this on a cinema camera is pretty cool. Whether it is for an interview or when shooting low or high angle. The viewfinder, which can sometimes help in super bright conditions, or when you don't want to be distracted by things around you. So now the cons of each cameras. So cons of the BMPCC 6K. First one is a battery. You only get 30 to 40 minutes on a 6K using the genuine Canon ones. The size. Having a small camera is great but sometimes you actually need the weight for stability and it also helps when you want to rig it up a bit. The fixed screen, which can make low or high angle shooting a problem and you might need to add a monitor. Reliability. To be honest I haven't had any issue with the 6K, but what I mean is that the C200 just works and I know I can count on it 100%. With the BMPCC 4K and 6K there's sometimes a few bugs, such as the camera turning off when you still have 20% battery or a few glitches with the screen. The cons of the C200. So the size of the form factor when fully built up. You need to assemble the C200 in order to start shooting. You need to add the handle, side handle, the screen, the cable, etc. It takes time and when you travel you need to bring quite a bit of gear. Once built it is quite comfy to hold though. Walking around with the C200 is also not always ideal. And I have actually been stopped by the police in Europe because they thought I was part of a television show and I didn't have a permit. Limited codecs and resolutions. 8-bit or RAW. This is probably the most talked about issue with the camera, the lack of a mid-size codec. So 8-bit is great for interviews, but sometimes you just need 10-bit to get that extra depth in post. Shooting RAW is great, but the files are huge, and I don't shoot RAW that much because I find the whole process too cumbersome. Quality is amazing though. The price. 
So we're nearly in 2020 and paying 6500 USD might seem a lot for a 4K Super 35 sensor camera when you have cameras available like the Pocket 6K and the 4K as well, as well as the Z cam. How I use the cameras. For the past year and a half, the C200 has been my main work camera and I have shot anything from documentaries to small commercials on it. It is the camera that I use for paid gigs and for interviews, as well as the one that I use to make my YouTube videos. Filming yourself with the C200 is actually very easy thanks to the screen and the autofocus. The BMPCC on the other hand is my licensing, travel and personal camera. It is basically my fun camera. Although as you probably just saw I shot my first doco on it as a test and the camera performed great and to be completely honest with you I didn't miss the C200 that much. Obviously it was a small personal project, but still. Which one to get? This is a hard question to answer as it depends on your line of work and what projects you intend to shoot. The BMPCC 6K is still my favorite camera at the moment for sure. I really enjoy shooting with it, it's super easy to use and carry and the image is stunning. At the moment I would still use my C200 for big documentaries and commercials for example, but I feel like because of the sensor and the EF mount I can see myself using the 6K for docos and work more and more. In my opinion the 6K offers a great package and a much better value. I would say that if you're looking to buy a small cinema camera and you want to keep the budget low, then go for the 6K. You can get a camera, a good lens, media for 3500 USD. If you intend to use a camera every single day for long shoots, big commercials and documentaries in various conditions, if you shoot along with other people and that you know that you can make your money back easily and quickly, then go with the C200. At the moment, I'm going to keep both since I do a mix of things that includes commercials, documentaries, licensing and travel content. If I had to pick one though, it'd probably be the Pocket 6K, since it can almost do everything that the C200 does for half the price and size. As mentioned before, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. We have been using Squarespace for more than 5 years now. After weeks of searching for the best platform to create our website, we decided to go with them as it allowed us to showcase our work exactly the way we want it. A feature that we often use is Squarespace Website Analytics, which helps us to quickly understand our audience, including page views, traffic sources, time on site, most read content, audience geography, and more. It gives us feedback on what's working and also how to improve. Squarespace is easy to use, there's plenty of templates to choose from, and on top of that you get 24-7 customer service when you need help. Go to squarespace.com for free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash off to lens to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. Hope this was helpful to you and let me know if you have any questions. As always, don't forget to subscribe, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.